Hi guys, it's Rihanna, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 70 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, as soon as you attempt it, let's just dive right in. So they're saying the given that it exceeds the deductible, which in our case is 100, what is the probability that some x is greater than x that's equal to 0.95 so what it, they're saying find a little x such that given it's exceeds deductible it is equal to the 95th percentile cool so by the r formula this is equal to the probability that x is greater than x and x is greater than a thousand divided by the probability that x is greater than a hundred for this one this is basically, because we know that x has to be equal to 100, we know that that little x must be between 100 and x, right, bigger than 100. And the denominator here is going to be just 100 to infinity. And we also know that x is an exponential distribution with a mean of 300. So plugging that in, this is equal to 1 over 300 e to the negative t over 300. This should be x. Likewise, denomination will be 1 over 300 e to negative x over 300 dx. And this is equal to 0.95. So when we take the antiderivative, you get actually a negative e to negative x over 300 going from 100 to x divided by negative e to the negative x over 300 going from 100 to infinity. And this is going to be equal to 0.95. The negatives cancel out. Plugging in the upper limit, you get e to the negative x over 300 minus e to the negative 100 over 300 divided by upper limit here, 1 over e to a really big number is just going to be 0. So that's 0 minus e to the negative 100 over 300 is equal to 0.95. So you can actually simplify this just a little bit more. You can split this up into e to the negative x over 300 divided by e divided by negative e to the negative 100 over 300 plus 1, right? <laughs> and this is equal to 0.95. Bringing this over to the other side and then 0.95 onto this side, you get this is equal to 0.05 is equal to e to the negative x over 300 divided by e to the negative 100 over 300. I'm actually going to multiply this to this side, which is approximately equal to 0 0.0358 is equal to e to the negative x over 300. So I can take the natural log on both sides. So natural log of 0 0.0358 is equal to negative x over 300. Bring that negative 300 onto this side, you get x is equal to negative 300 times the natural log of 0 0.0358, which is equal to 998.71, approximately equal to 1,000, which is our answer, E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!